It all started in a little town in Mexico called Tiquilpan. My parents grew up in the same town and began dating midway through high school, around 1993. They stayed together, and in April of 2000, they got married. Shortly after, my sister Paulina was born in October of the same year. She was the only grandchild thus far on both sides of family. But then, three years later, the worst thing happened. I was born. Now, the cute little baby had most of the attention. Growing up, my family for the most part was close, and my dad got free tickets to go to Disneyland because of his job there, so he often found himself there to pass the time. But unfortunately, I began elementary school, so I stopped going as much. But I found my friends. Throughout elementary school, all our friends were pretty close together. We all spent most of our time together. But when we promoted elementary school, I thought my life was over because I thought all my friends were going to different middle schools. And it was a very strange time. We were changing schools, but I spent the last seven years going to the same school with the same people. That's when I started to get kind of sad. It was the transition to junior high. It was honestly the same, but my mood was strange. I would cry a lot and just prefer to be alone. And I didn't really accept that. So when I went to junior high, I started up for sports. I was on the all-star team for volleyball, soccer, and basketball. The two years of junior high were very awkward, but at the same time upsetting when it was over. I, can't blame her. I wasn't going to a high school that the rest of my friends were going to, so it was a really hard <laughs> change. My friends and I hang outside of school once a week. It's nice, but it's really different compared to seeing them every single day five times a week. They've supported me this far in my life journey, and I hope they continue when we all go off to college together. <laughs> my friends are some of the greatest people ever. They always make me smile and laugh, and they stay friends with me even though I say some of the weirdest things. And they keep on motivating me even when I don't have enough motivation. <laughs> <He's so dumb. laughs> I don't really know what's to come in life or what obstacles it's going to throw at me, but I hope my friends will be there with me when we go to college where I will hopefully have some degree in medicine. Wave your arms. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know what the future holds for me. No one really does. But I hope those are my friends and all those that I love. I hope I'm successful. I hope I've been to college. And I just hope I'm happy.